In this Hive Mail tutorial, we'll be walking through how to connect your Hive account to your email account and bring together both your communication and project work in Hive with your emails and your email communication. To connect your email account to Hive Mail, you are going to go to your profile picture dropdown and you're going to navigate to Hive Apps toward the bottom of this dropdown. Once in Hive Apps, you'll come into the My Apps section, and when you're in here, you'll go ahead and toggle on Hive Mail. Once you click in the tile to toggle this on, you will be prompted to choose your email provider. For this example, I will be using a Gmail account. I will click the Google provider. Once I click this, I'll be prompted to choose my email, and I will go ahead and click my email, and then give access and allow the connection. From here we will see Hive Mail turn on and then we'll come back into Hive. Once I'm back on my Hive screen I will see my inbox now on the left hand side in the chat panel of Hive. When I click on my inbox I will be able to see all of my emails just as I would in my Gmail account and I can click into any of these emails and I can reply or forward the email. Now the power of Hive Mail not only comes from the ability to see my inbox and actually reply to things and manage my emails in one place but also in connecting those emails to tasks in my projects. So as I look at these different emails, I see that I have a quick ask to update the Jaguar report. I'm going to immediately create this into an action. So in Hive Mail, at the top of each email, you will see this check mark, and this gives you the ability to create an action card out of your email. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and then it creates a new action. And what happens is it takes the subject line of my email, it makes it the title of the action card, and it auto assigns that action card to me. I can also add a due date on it. So I'm going to put this down for the 16th and then I can go ahead and click into the action card. Once I'm in the action card, I see a few different things. I'm able to see that I'm assigned to this card. I see the title and I also see the entire email right here in the action card. This is also defaulted to private. So every email that is created into an action card is defaulted to private for security and to ensure that you're sharing these action cards when they're meant to be shared. Since this is a Jaguar report, I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the Jaguar project. From here, I'm also gonna go ahead and reply to Julia that I'm on top of the report. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit reply and I am able to actually reply to the email and receive replies directly from the action card. I'll tell Julia that I'm on top of this. Once that email is ready to be sent, I will go ahead and send it. And from here we see that this was sent. So now I have a record of all the conversations in one place. And I could also go ahead and reassign this to one of my teammates and then the action will become public and they will be able to see the chain and help me out with it. I can also have an internal conversation and ask Anna to help out here. This functionality brings together the internal and the external communication to make it super easy to bridge the two worlds of your internal task and project management and the external conversation that's happening with external vendors, clients, other companies you're working with or collaborating with, or other people in your company or firm who may not be on Hive who are sending emails to you. The other option that we have in Hive Mail aside from creating an action from an email, is to link an email to an existing action card. The next email that I've received is someone sending me along creative assets. And I know that this is already an action card in one of my projects to receive those creative assets from the external agency who's providing them. Instead of creating an action, I'm actually gonna link this action. I'm gonna search for creative assets. Since I know this is something I have an action card for. And we'll see that I have received creative assets as an action in two different projects, but I know that this one is for the Google Summer Campaign. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that and then add it. 
from here, this email actually automatically gets linked into the action card that I've already been assigned to. And from here, I have the attachment, I can download it. And of course, I can reply back confirming that I have received these assets. We'll send that along. Those two options of creating an action card from an email or linking an email to an existing action card help you to bridge together where you're tracking the work to where the work is actually coming from through email. Now, a few other things to note about Hive Mail when you're, when you're in it. You have a few key settings up here. You have general settings where you can disable sent with Hive Mail. You can add a signature. And over here, you can compose a new email if you would like and you can search for anything. So this is a very powerful search. If I was to type something in and search, I would see you know, only the things that mention report in them. Now on the left-hand side, you can see all of your folders. So you can see your sent mail, you can see any folders that you have that exist, uh, and you're able to click into those and, and use those as well. One other thing to note here is that once you do connect your Hive mail, from Hive Notes or anywhere else in the tool where you can send an email, that email will come from your email address. If we were going to email this out, this would come from my email address. And that is just an added bonus to help bring together email and Hive in one place. That sums up our Hive Mail tutorial. For more information on Hive Mail, you can also visit our Help Center.